Yeah, okay, so I promised to do something on um, gravity and parity. And um, it's a topic that has of, of late been a major issue uh, because people are having trouble actually uh, recording the history when they are taking the obstetric history on uh, gravity and parity. So, because of that, I thought it is wise that we go through it. So, gravity, basically, the term gravity comes from um, the Latin word gravidus, and which means uh, burden or heavy. So, it is a Latin word that was used to, to refer to, especially like animals which were uh, pregnant. So, and that is the name that stuck. And uh, now, even a pregnant human uh, being, uh, when they became pregnant, they were termed as gravid, basically heavy or burdened. So, um, gravidity itself, by definition, refers to the number of times a woman has been pregnant, uh, regardless of whether the pregnancy were interrupted or regardless of the outcome of the pregnancy. Okay, so whether they had a live birth, whether they didn't, provided a woman became pregnant, then that is counted as a gravidity. So the certain terms um, that uh, gravidity um, applied and the importance of basically knowing whether a woman was pregnant or not is very important, especially one, it is a, a, an important element for patient uh, reproductive history, obstetric history, because it provides uh, some sort of insight into the risk factors that patients um, have. Because, for example, if somebody had like three pregnancies, but none of them had a good outcome, then there are certain risk factors that might have been predisposing there. So, uh, gravidity is important as an obstetric history. There are certain terms that are related to gravidity or gravida. So basically, gravida is um, a term used for a pregnant woman. So we will say a woman who has, not, has never ever given birth, uh, has never ever become pregnant to be in a uh, gravida. Then the one that who has become pregnant for the first time, this one is regarded as a primary gravida. Then um, a woman who has become pregnant more than once, they are called multigravida. And if they have had more than, for example, who have become um, pregnant at a later age in life, especially we put a mark of 35 years old, then that would be, be, be termed as an elderly primary gravida. So this is a woman that is getting pregnant for the first time, but at a, at a later age. Um, so uh, the other term is uh, parity. And uh, this is basically the number of pregnancies carried by a woman. For at least the age of viability and it's important we know age of viability so basically a um, parity does does uh, basically it denotes a state of previous pregnancy beyond the period of viability so then the, the important thing here is a state of previous pregnancy okay so when a woman is coming and they're pregnant we don't count their parity at that pregnancy so it's the previous one but the other element is beyond the period of viability. So if a woman carries the fetus to a viable age, even if ultimately the fetus is born deceased, this still counts as an instance of parity, okay? So provided it is past the age of viability, that will be counted as a parity. So this is based on the time of gestation prior to a birth and basically not the, the status of the offspring. So whether the child is, whether the fetus is born or not, um, provided it passed the age of viability, then that is what is counted. So what is this viability? Basically, age of viability refers to um, is the ability of a human fetus to survive outside the uterus. So we will keep referring to this age of viability. And it's important we note that uh, this, this um, time varies from... Uh, region to region or from country to country. So it depends on the medical development of that country. Um, therefore, the duration will vary. So, but according to World Health Organization, the least, the minimum time of age of viability is 20 weeks and they put the cut off to 28 weeks. So you'll find most African countries having the age of viability at around 28 weeks, but other countries like UK, it's 24 weeks. Okay. So that means for them, 
they got <coughs> a human fetus can survive outside the uterus by 24 at 24 weeks because um, maybe they have better uh, medical capabilities of sustaining that uh, life after um, coming out of the uterus so 28 weeks basically you might see us referring to 28 weeks but note that that might change depending on which region uh, so the terms related to parity so we have a an aliparous woman or para zero basically a woman who has never carried pregnancy beyond the age of viability uh, so basically a woman who has never carried a pregnancy beyond age of viability so that would be called an aliparous woman so or para zero and then we have a primi para basically a woman who has given birth once so that is or oh, they have carried a pregnancy via uh, beyond the age of viability uh, at least once so that is primi para then we have multi paras basically a woman who has given birth two three or four times and then we have one a woman who has given birth for like five or more times that that one is called a grand multi para okay so the oh, the whole thing we're trying to do here is about the obstetric history and more specifically the gravida and the parity so gravida and para how do we record so the terminology normally used is gravida x for example then para a plus b so normally these x and a plus b are numbers that we we allocate where basically x is the total number of pregnancies that is including the one that they are carrying at that moment in time if they are coming to the maternity or labor or whichever so that is um, gravida and then that number okay then a in this parity or para a is the number of births beyond the age of viability so in this context we'll use 28 weeks so provided um so remember we said parity or para we use that for previous pregnancies okay not the current one so is the number of births beyond the age of viability so 28 weeks of gestation provided they have passed that um age or gestational age then b uh, is the number of miscarriage or terminations of pregnancy before the age of viability so if somebody had a miscarriage or an abortion whatever sort of termination provided it did not get to the age of viability then that is put as a plus b basically the, the other number that comes after the plus so if we look at an example a patient who is currently pregnant and had two previous deliveries okay so if we uh, try to put this as an obstetric history how would we write it uh, so the gravidity here basically how many times have they gotten pregnant including the current one so the patient has already had two previous deliveries so that means they were pregnant twice and they are currently pregnant as well so remember we said gravidity includes even the current uh, pregnancy so that brings it to a total of three parity remember we talked about parity is a state it, it's, it's uh, the status of the prior uh, pregnancies basically and we start by the first value is um, whether that uh, those pregnancies were, uh, were able to go past the age of viability so the fact that they had the, the patient delivered okay so the assumption is here that actually they had passed uh, uh, past the age of viability so that is two and we had no miscarriage reported or we didn't lose any 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 fetus before the age of viability so that is zero so two plus zero so if you write this this would be gravida 3 para 2 plus 0 or just g3 then p2 plus 0 okay so that's the first example other example um so patient is not pregnant but had one previous delivery so what is the gravidity so if we look that the patient had one previous delivery so that means they had they were pregnant at least once before and they are currently not pregnant so so therefore gravidity is one parity again it's of the previous pregnancy so the fact that they delivered we assume that the that was past the age of viability no miscarriage reported here so therefore plus zero so gravida one para one plus zero okay 
Then the third example, so patient is currently pregnant and they had one previous delivery and uh, one previous miscarriage. So let us look at this keenly. So the patient, so gravidity, remember it also includes the current pregnancies. So one patient is currently pregnant, that is one, had one previous delivery, that is another pregnancy, and one previous miscarriage, that was also a pregnancy, obviously. So how many pregnancies did the patient have? One, two, three. So gravidity is three. Now for parity, um, so for parity, we will first of all start looking at the ones that uh, the previous pregnancies that were carried. Now, was it carried past the age of viability? So one previous delivery, that means that was past the age of um, viability. So that therefore will have one and one previous miscarriage. So that means it was before the age of viability. So that is plus one. Okay, so the plus one refers to the pregnancy not carried beyond 28 uh, weeks. So therefore, if we put this, this will be uh, gravida three, para one plus one, okay? Then um, we're almost done. So another interesting one, so a patient is not currently pregnant, had a live birth and a still birth. So um, not currently pregnant, so therefore that is, we don't have any pregnancy there, but had one live birth and a still birth. So the number of times they were pregnant is two. So gravidity there is two. Parity. Now, remember parity is with the previous pregnancy. So these two, the live birth and the still birth. Now live birth, we assume that therefore that was uh, past the age of ability and still birth. Now by definition, still birth is any death intrauterine um, intra and fetal death occurring past 28 weeks. Okay. Therefore, that would have been, that is still a parity. So we therefore don't consider this a miscarriage or anything therefore this will be uh two plus zero so this even the still birth is regarded as a as a as a parity basically so therefore this will be gravida two para two plus zero okay interesting so final one i hope this is the final one um so a patient is not pregnant but had a twin pregnancy resulting in two live births so currently not pregnant, but had a twin pregnancy. That means they were uh, previously pregnant. So the thing with uh, twin pregnancy is that uh, we don't count, even if they're twins or triplets or whatever, we, don't, we, we count it as a single pregnancy, okay? Because gravida and para refers to pregnancies and not, and not the number of babies. Therefore, as such, a woman who delivers twins, okay? In the first pregnancy still a gravida one because that is one pregnancy and a para one because we just look at the the pregnancy and its outcome not the number of babies so therefore we'll consider this as just one gravidity then para, para one um, because um they delivered once and the assumption there that this is was past the age of ability okay it doesn't matter the number of live births provided it's like the number of times they gave birth, basically. So that would be one plus zero. Therefore, in this case, actually, it should be gravida one para one plus zero. Okay, this is the correct one here, down here, not this one.